Good morning, everyone. Happy energy reading. This morning, I was woken up by an earthquake. It was actually in Beverly Hills, Century City area, and all of a sudden, it's like I heard it like a split second before I felt that shove, and it felt like a shove. It's very interesting. Um, dog didn't care. Didn't hear anything from the birds, so birds are still sleeping. So I needed to get up anyways. So I guess that was like a good alarm clock. So weird. I don't know. Anyways, here in Southern sunny California, Los Angeles, you get waking up by tons of things. All right, card reveal time. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> La Campana, Campana. Yeah, La Campana and Seven of Diamonds. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. It's all coming together. Mwah. This is about listening to your gut instinct. This is about you going inside and following the money trail. Hey, make it rain. Okay, there's also an element of luck to it, which is pretty cool. So this is saying today's a really great day to um, get in touch with your inner guidance system. So your GPS, inner GPS, um, and really ask yourself. So set up a question for yourself. Like what is the next step I should take so that I can reach my financial goal or so that I can get the money that I want or so that I can get the prosperity that I want or so that I can get the abundance that I want. I would default to abundance versus just money because abundance comes in many forms, not just money. It comes in love, it comes in good health, it comes in opportunity. So I'm a bit biased towards asking for abundance um, instead of money in particular, because all those little opportunities and things that can come your way in, in uh, terms of abundance can lead to money. So that's how I would do it. So today when I do this, I'm going to go ahead and do it for abundance. And it's about going inside, deep inside. So you might want to do some really slow breathing just to collect yourself and really, really ask your higher self, that part of you that knows you better than you. And say, what are the next steps? Because today's energy is all about going within um, and listening. So there's some sort of an announcement. So whether you get a feeling, whether you get a thought, see, thoughts are actually types of clear audience, which is like an inner voice hearing, okay? As opposed to a disembodied voice that you're hearing. Um so today is really about going within you trusting that you have the answers, asking your higher self for those answers, and then doing it. So it's hearing it, doing it, and being open to receiving it. All right, people, today can be a really great day for you if you listen to yourself. And you just have to ask, what's my next step? You don't have to ask for the big goal. You don't have to go all the way to the end result. Just what's the next step? Because there is an opportunity for money to either come in today or for you to be guided towards it. All right, super, super cool. So what am I always saying, you guys? Stay connected, right? Well, here's a way for you to stay connected to yourself, okay? Um, I just really quick, one of my favorite ways to tell people, because sometimes people have a really hard time meditating they feel like they're gonna die. I know, it's one of those things where it's very individual um, experience. So I always tell people to light a candle and watch that flame dance. Set your alarm for five minutes and just watch your, that flame dance. And that's all you can do, that's all you really need to do to get yourself regrouped and collect yourself. So why don't you try doing that, right? Do that as a way of connecting to yourself, getting into yourself, getting out of your head and into your heart and soul. All right, guys, so try that. Do flame dancing. We'll call it flame dancing. Do flame dancing for like five minutes, and then you can go ahead and say, okay, what is my next step to bringing me more abundance, more prosperity, more money? And then trust whatever comes up in your body, whether it's like this expansive heart feeling, whether it's a thought that you feel, or whether you feel like you even need to journal it out. 
okay? Just trust it, whatever it is, and do it. Don't just like have it magically appear. Freaking do it, do it, okay? That's how you can stay connected to yourself. Of course, stay connected to your friends and family and stay connected to me. And if you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'd be happy to. Just check out Terry. Huberman.com. Go to the intuitive coaching section and let's see if we can work together. All right, guys, have a really great day and I'll see you on the flip side.